Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Torsi Thrifters. Today we're going to be talking eBay managed payments and a bit of a first look. We've been enabled for eBay managed payments as of today. So I just wanted to show you guys what the changes look like to the Cell Hub. So when you guys have it installed for you, you'll know where to go because I know that eBay managed payments is a little bit scary and it is a little bit different. So I sort of want to show you what it's going to look like for, for when you get moved across to eBay managed payments. So the first thing you're probably going to notice is that there is now a new payments tab on your eBay seller hub. It has been there for a little while. However, you haven't been able to go into it. So now you can actually click into it and have a little bit of a look around. So the first thing you'll notice is up here, you've got like a bit of a summary. You've got your financial summary here, how many funds, are available or pending. Your invoice, um, which you used to be able to see from the overview, you can get more in-depth info from the overview as well. There's a little bit of a snapshot of what you've got there. You've got your transaction list. So what is currently um, in your transactions, what has been done since managed payments has been installed. So you can see we have a few sales here that have um, qualified under the eBay managed payments. And then you also have your settings on the right hand side here. So your payout method, which would be your business bank account, how often you want to pay the money out to your bank. And then you can also set up automatic payment deductions and backup payment deductions for extra fees that maybe you can't cover with your uh, managed payments. So uh, let's go into some of these other tabs and have a little bit of a look. Uh, you're able to click into all transactions and that'll go through all the transactions that you currently have under eBay managed payments. We only have seven. I'm filming this on my lunch break. So we've only had half a day of sales so far. And as you can see, it gives you a good breakdown of the amount, the fees and your net. So that makes it nice and easy. And you'll see this little logo here that says processing. So what that means is the buyer has made payment, but it hasn't come through to hit um, the part where it's able to release to you yet. Now saying that on the phone, there is also a little update there that says the buyer has already paid, funds are being transferred, held temporarily with payment processing. So in all intents and purposes, those items are paid for, which means that you need to ship them. So that's probably one of the first things that you'll notice is it'll say processing. However, that item has been paid for from a buyer's perspective and from eBay's perspective, you need to ship the item. So let's have a look at some of the other things here. You can look at your payouts, get a bit of a report. So once you've had some payouts here, you'll be able to see um, each payout on each line. So you'll be able to break it down and work out what's come to your bank account. Uh, you can also run some reporting and see what, what has been happening on your account. I've just um, run a bit of reporting through this reports tab here. And you can see that I've just asked for the transaction record for the 7th of July to the 7th of August. We only got uh, put on as the 7th of August. So there's only one day of uh, information on here, but you can download the report and it will export it into an Excel spreadsheet like this, uh, which can be pretty handy. So you can do your tax or recording or however you want to manage your ins and outs for your own business. Uh, another thing that you want to be looking at is your payout settings, um, adjusting it to if you want to do daily or weekly, um, depending on what's going to suit your business. I'm probably going to end up changing mine to weekly and get it in a bit of a rotation so that it matches up with my accounting and all that sort of stuff as well. You want to set up your payment backups, um, which I will do separately because obviously I don't want to be showing my details on here. But essentially, everything looks like it is pretty simple. So total funds, what's pending, what's available. You've got your invoice amount here. Um, so this will probably be a little bit more easily managed now that um, you're going to have all this information in front of you. So my bill is due to come out on the 16th, as you can see here, which is why um, there's 1,328.56 outstanding. Now I did have a credit last month because I paid ahead of time to claim extra on tax. So uh, that's why that's low. Usually that would be a bit higher. So overall, I think it's a pretty, pretty easy system to use. Now, obviously, um, the thing that's going to get a bit more difficult is the actual getting the payment out and paying for stuff like postage. So the way I'm going to manage this is I'm going to make sure that I have a bit of money left in my PayPal account 
and I'm going to use that to start with um, to pay for my postage. Obviously, we use my business post, which is hooked up to PayPal, but you can also set it up to a credit card. So once I've sort of used up that money and this money starts flowing through to my bank account, I will be changing over to charging the card and then it will just be a matter of money coming in, money going out, money coming in, money going out. So it should be nice and easy for us to track. So I'm pretty happy that there's no third party involved with this anymore. There's no sort of trying to match up PayPal with eBay and then your own information. All the information that you're gonna need is gonna be right here in front of you. So I hope this little bit of an overview has helped out. Just sort of a first look at what eBay managed payments looks like. Just visually, um, if you sort of have any questions about our experience, by the time this video has gone up, we probably would have had two or three days on managed payments. So I should have a bit better idea of what it does in terms of payouts. Leave us a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thank you for watching today and I hope eBay managed payments goes smoothly for you and we can all get on with our reselling journey. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.